Hi again. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the motherboard voltages. So you're going to learn in this video motherboard power rails or all voltages that you can find in motherboard. So this is a very important video. And of course, if you know about all voltages in the motherboard, you can be able to figure out and to repair any laptop motherboard. So let's get started. So as you can see here, let's see first this table where we have the label of volt where we have the voltages here in this column and we have the active the states and description and description. For example, we have the plus V in. Okay, we I'm going to teach you all these voltages in real schematics. Okay, so for example, plus V in plus V in V in means voltage input or input voltage. Usually this voltage equal to 19 volts. In this laptop we have here 18.5 volt. Okay, so V in or AC adapter. So active here active means this voltage is always active or exists in the motherboard in all state in S0 state S3, S4, and S5. By the way, you will find a link of a video that I made where I explain these states. You will understand all these states clearly if you watch that video. You will find in the description box the link of the video. Okay? So we have plus bat or plus battery. This is basically for the battery. When the VN or the adapter is removed, the battery will charge to power or to feed the laptop. So the battery basically generates 6.2 volt to 8.4 volt. Okay, so plus bat means battery power. Also, this voltage is active in all states s0 s3 s4 and s5 okay so the third voltage is plus ev bat okay so rtc and keyboard power so here this voltage basically equal to 3.3 volt okay so 3.3 volt this is a very important voltage in every motherboard because many circuits needs 3.3 volt as a working voltage for example the keyboard controller the power button the bios the ich leds etc okay so 3.3 volt and also 5 volt always are very important voltage in every motherboard okay so here we have 12 volt always of course equal to 12 volts also this voltage is active during all states okay so we have plus v core this is basically the voltage for the cpu or the processor we have here cpu core power usually is between 0.3 volt to 1.5 volt depending in the type of the cpu of course this voltage is just active in state zero so plus cpu vdd not bridge okay so this voltage as you can see here is also for the cpu and the not bridge cpu core power but for this voltage is between 1.3 volt and 1.5 volt for not bridge plus 1.1 volt not bridge as you can see between plus 1.1 to 1 volt so then we have plus 1.0 volt the same voltage and we have plus 1.2 volt basically this is just a repeated voltage because in the motherboard for example you will find plus 3 volts sas plus 3 volt always plus 3 volt pcu etc we gonna see all this okay here for example we have plus 3 volt sas as you can see sas on as you can see we have plus 3 volt is 5 we have plus 3 volt pcu means always power 3 volt for for this voltage it is always exist in the motherboard we're gonna see all these differences in the next lectures so here we have 1.5 volt for the north bridge and for ich 1.8 volt for ddr core power this is for ram so based on this voltage we can figure out that the type of the ram here is ddr2 Okay, because the working voltage for DDR2 is 1.8 volts. 
for DDR3 1.5 volt, for DDR4 1.2 volt, for DDR5 1.1 volt, and for DDR1 2.5 volts. Okay, here we have plus 2.5 volt CPU VDD as you can see 0.9 volt VTT also this is for RAM because this is the half the half of 1.8 volt is 0.9 volt because always the RAM has two voltages one main voltage and another for VTT or for RAM terminals okay in this case we have the, the, the main voltage is 1.8 volt and the VTT is 0.9 volt. Okay. And then here we have plus EVDT plus 3 volt LAN. This is for LAN power for network connection. Here we have two types of ground. So this is basically analog ground, not digital ground. This is analog ground. And this one is digital ground. Okay. So now let's dive in into schematics. So as you can see here, for example, this is the strip suit is this is the ICH or input output control hub okay and he, over here we have many voltages this is basically power rail here we have plus 3 volt power rail as you can see okay here we have 1 point volt okay and also here we have 1 point volt here basically we have plus 5 volt okay so always you will find voltage pass through capacitors ceramic capacitors many ceramic capacitors because the purpose of these capacitors is to filter or to remove and eliminate the noise in the power or in the voltage okay and here we have inductor for example here we have plus one point volt that is pass it through an inductor and some ceramic capacitors. Here basically the inductor has as a purpose to increase the current in the circuit, okay? In order to have or to get enough voltage or enough current, okay? The same also for, for these two voltages. And here for example we have another power rail voltage, we have plus 5 volt as you can see. Here, this is basically inductor because the reference here we have L. So always try to differentiate, do not confuse between inductor and resistor. Okay, so inductor and resistor. So always the reference for resistor is R, as you can see over here, or PR, and inductor the reference is L. So as you can see here, the power will pass through this inductor in, in order to increase the current then through the ceramic capacitors in order to remove the noise then through this electrolytic capacitor in order to get a filtered current okay and here as you can see we have two main voltage so let's see here what we have here we have two main voltages we have plus three volt pcu or always and plus five volt always okay so this is to power rail channel okay here we have the channel for plus 3 volt and another channel for plus 5 volts okay so this is the ic the control ic that is responsible to generate these two voltages of course with the help of this mosfets or regulated voltage okay this mosfet basically has a regulators Okay, voltage regulators. Okay, but this MOSFET is controlled by this IC. As you can see here, for example, for this MOSFET, we have here the drain uh, or, or the gate. Here we have drain, gate, and so. So the drain is controlled by this IC. As you can see, we have drive high, 3 means 3.3 volt. For this one, as you can see, we have drive low because this is the higher MOSFET. And the lower MOSFET. And the same for these two. For plus 5 volt always channel, we have as you can see here the gate is controlled. This MOSFET is controlled by this IC. We have drive high 5, means 5 volt, and over here we have drive low 5. Okay, so and of course here this is the V in here. We have the plus V in. This is the power rail of plus V in because the V the V in is the input voltage that we use in order to generate these two these two voltages plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt. So here we have plus V in as you can see. This plus V in will be 
apply it directly to these capacitors in order to be filtered and remove the noise and then go directly to drain of this MOSFET then this MOSFET will be activated or controlled by this IC then here 3.3 volt will pass here here we have 9, 19 volt here we will get 3.3 volt because of this control signal okay this signal determine the amount of voltage that should be passed here okay because this is a voltage regulator it take 19 volt and gives in the output 3.3 volt then this 3.3 volt will go and pass through this inductor in order to increase the current here we have a power or current sense resistor that will sense and verify the current is it enough or not this current sense resistor as you can see is connected directly to this IC okay this is always the control IC then the voltage or current will pass through these capacitors this is basically a filtering capacitor electrolytic capacitor that will make the voltage a continuous voltage and here this diode overhead is used for what for protection in order to protect the channel from high voltage or high current okay so the same here for the second channel for for the plus 5 volt channel okay here we have the control IC we have two MOSFETs always the same working principle so and here we have the V in the 19 volt will pass through these capacitors then goes to drain of this MOSFET then this MOSFET will get the control signal as you can see drive high so this regulator MOSFET will let 5 volt to pass to this stage over here okay so 5 volt will go in this direction and in this direction as you can see LX5 because this control IC also check whether we get here 5 volt or not if for example we get more than 5 volt for example 5.2 volt this MOSFET will eliminate the extra voltage or the residual voltage directly to the ground in order to get just 5 volt over here so the inductor will increase the current as you can see here we have PL11 you will find the reference of this inductor PL or L then we have the current sense resistor that will sense and control the amount of current as you can see it is always connected to the control IC okay then we have here the filtering component we have a ceramic capacitor and an electrolytic capacitor as you can see here we have the characteristics of this capacitor we have 330 microfarad and here as you can see we have 6.3 volts okay 6.3 volts always the, the, the voltage for the capacitor should be greater than the output voltage over here for example here we have plus 3 volt the capacitor here has as a voltage 6.3 volt also also here 6.3 volt then we have a protection component as a diode here it protects the circuit okay so basically this is all about the power or the power rails in the motherboard always the same working principle you will find plus 3 volt power layer plus 5 volt power layer plus 19 volt power layer plus for the v core etc or etc always the same working principle and the same components for example here what we have here we have as you can see here 1.2 volt this is basically for the north bridge we have the ic the responsible ic its part number is rt8204 this is the control IC and we have two voltage regulator or MOSFETs. Here we have the VN. The voltage, the input voltage as a 19 volt, it will pass through the ceramic capacitors. So we have PC. The reference is PC. PC7, PC8, PC5, etc. Okay. This is a filtering capacitors. The 19 volt will go directly to this MOSFET. This MOSFET will be controllers by this IC. Okay. And then from 19 volt this is a voltage regulator we will get here how much 1.2 volt okay 1.2 volt if we get more than 1.2 volt then we have this MOSFET that will 
compensate and adjust the voltage in, in order to get just 1.2 volt here we have inductor it will increase the current here we have filtering capacitors in order to get a continue voltage okay so this is basically the power voltage in the motherboard so that's it guys it's enough for this video because i don't make a very long video thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe and to share the video and to like the video because really your likes and your engagement motivate me to create better and more more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video